Hello everybody, welcome to Fruitful Trees, and I have an exciting video for you. I love going to different farms and tasting their fruit, and we are in the middle of mango season right now, and I went down to Miami to Homestead to Laura Farms, and they have a tremendous amount of mangoes and other fruits, jackfruits and other fruits, and we got to do something uh, on camera a little bit different because since it's mango season we weren't just talking about the tree we were literally on camera tasting the different mangoes and Julian at Laura Farms has been saying for a long time that his favorite mango is an Egyptian mango called a Timor mango that I've never had so my goal was to go down there find a ripe one on the tree and taste it and I did and I also got to taste a bunch of other mangoes that I never had before and I recorded all of that so this video is more of just a, a conversation and a tour of me going down there and tasting the different mangoes. There's not too much instruction or learning in this video. It's just an enjoyable time of seeing me uh, taste some mangoes for the first time. So I hope you enjoy this type of video. And I want to encourage you all to go to laurafonsmiami.com. They have all of these mangoes for sale on their website. They also have Mame for sale right now, depending when you're watching this. It's in season. Uh, jackfruit's right around the corner. And they also sell dried fruit. They sell an amazing dried fruit package of jackfruit, Mame, and mangoes just an amazing place the tie more mango is amazing uh, check it out here it goes i'm going to put the link below uh, to laura Fons miami it's laura Fons miami .com, and here it goes all right everybody here we are at laura Fons, laura Fons miami .com. there's this my matrix all these big giant my matrix looking great Different 40 varieties, old. forty year old trees. How many varieties you have? Of my main? Yeah. Probably plus ten plus. Over ten varieties of my main. If you come here to get fruit, you also get a tour. And if you're watching online, he ships the fruit in the mail. He has my main in season right now. He always has something amazing in season. This is uh, Homestead, Florida, the Redlands. This is the heart of the tropical fruit in the United States. There's green sapotes, he has custard apples, he has sapodilla, but right now it's mango season. I'm going to be checking out all the different mangoes that they have. So these are my May trees his uh, father planted a long time ago, planted every single one. Look, that's an art mango. One at mango? Yeah, OTT. Right between the Mame trees. Yeah, here's a Cushman, Tommy Atkins, Philippine. And there's a Timor over here. The small one, this one? No, this massive tree right wow, here. Wow, that's a Timor. Wow. <clears throat> yeah, my dad my dad acquired it back in the eighties. It's an Egyptian mango. It's an Egyptian mango. They they did a trek, uh, you know, Tropical Research Education Center where my dad used to work. Um, had a made a did a ex expedition to Egypt for like a um, uh, exchange, you know. <clears throat> so they brought budwood from America, and um, they managed to get budwood from Egypt. I think it was Doctor Bob Knight that was the head of that, if I'm if I'm correct. So. They brought back the budwood and they gave it to my dad and said, All right, get this grafted. Let's get, you know, let's get this. We got to have this in our, in our collection. And lo and behold, they had Timor. They had another one called Excellent uh, Sucaril, I think. And uh, Mask, Hendi Besanara, uh, Mabruka. Um, what's another one? I can't remember. Diab. Those are really good mangoes. Um, the one that really tops the list is Timor, and I think I think there's one here on the floor. <clears throat> Timor. How old is this tree, and do you ever cut it back? Um, we have cut it back. Yeah, um, we cut back like the heaviest limb, and then the rest of them took over. I'm gonna have to cut this back after after this crop, and um, let's give this guy a try. All right, our first Timor. It got it, some birds pecked it, but. We can get some a good piece here, so you can tell me what you think of this. Tie more. 
the first taste. Smells and classic flavor, like almost like a sunrise it smells. Oh, let's try it. Interesting. It's very sweet. Very nice. Very sweet. It's rich. Very rich. It's a rich mango. It's one of the richest mangoes I've ever had. Very nice. And it grows well. Yeah. Yeah, it makes plenty of fruit. It's fiberless. It has like this little, like it's not jello, but a uh, Kent mango has the same thing. And, uh, Tastes like peaches, man. Like you open up a can of peaches, drink the syrup. Yeah, that's what it tastes like. Yeah, peaches is a great example. Canned peaches. Yeah. Tastes like you open up a can of peaches, drink the syrup. Almost like a similar to peach cobbler or juicy peach. Uh, this tastes more like more like peaches. I mean, those mangoes taste like peach. Jakarta tastes like peach. Um, this right here really tastes like peach. They should, we should change the name from Thai Moor to Canned Peaches. <laughs> yeah, very good, very good. And you have these for sale in your box, right? Yeah, I got them on my website. Uh, I think they're just in a one gallon container. But the important thing is that they're grafted. If it's grafted, you got it. Yes, yeah, so it's grafted one gallons. And do you sell uh, Budwood as well? No. Okay. I need the budwood to make the trees. Time more. There you go. All righty. That is... It's a beautiful mango. And how does it do with diseases down here? Just fine. It hardly gets anthracnose, as you can see. This fell down because it was ripe and the bird was pecking on it. But it gets very little, if not any, anthracnose. Usually, you know, a lot of the Egyptian mangoes are very resistant to anthracnose. Very rich. Yeah, this is very rich. Now, this is like one of my top top three mangoes. Gary, Alampur Benishan, which I may have some available if you can try. Nice. And Timor. And then after that would be Lemon Meringue and um, Jakarta. Jakarta. I love Jakarta. I had one sunrise, this year. no? No, I like Jakarta okay. better. Bigger, okay. prettier. Well, that was great. Uh, from a one to a ten, I'd give that nine and a half. All right, let's see if we can find uh, an Alampur Benishan. Oh yeah, here's what I was eating before. It's gone. This is a Gary. The what? A Gary mango. I never had one. Yeah, I have a tree. I have another tree back there. Hopefully, it'll have some fruit. So these are from India, right? Yeah, Alampur Benishan is an Indian dessert mango. We just did a video on Indian mangoes, me and Alex. Yeah, I saw that. We did part two just now. Come on, let's come over here. All right. Let's take a walk. Well, you got the mic on, your hot mic. All right. All right, so we are in the heart we're in, the heart mango of, season. we're in the heart of the Redlands. Yes, the heart of Redlands and the heart of mango season. If you drive down the roads here, mangoes everywhere. We're actually in the heart of the agricultural district of Dade County. You want to try Hindi Besanara? Yeah, yeah. Hindi Besanara from India, right? No, actually from Egypt. From Egypt. Egypt smells, smells like a sweet tart. It's an Indo-Chinese flavor. Yeah, just like sweet tart, right? Yeah. Wow. No tartness at all. That's, that's pretty good. It's actually a really good mango. It's super productive. <clears throat> Hindi Besanara. Makes tons of fruit. Why are you leaving that there? 
I'll come back and get it for seeds. Oh, let her try it. Huh? Let's bring it. Oh, we better go. Oh, we got a we'll lot. We'll come back and pick it up. You want to see a big mango? Look at those lantatillas. <coughs> Lantatilla. <coughs> that was a good mango, that one. We should do a video on Egyptian mangoes. Uh, yeah. Not a bad idea. We can do that at Trek. <coughs> Here's Angie. Nothing ready on that yet. Have you had Pimp St. Mun? No, I've been wanting to try one. Uh, well, <coughs> you should try it green before you try it ripe. Okay, so let's, uh, let's select one. This one's uh, not too green, not too ripe. This is my favorite mango <laughs> for eating green or semi green. So you eat them hard? Yeah. I actually have the tree, but there's no mangoes on it yet. So some mangoes you wouldn't think of doing this hard like this, but here we go. Very nice. Very nice, right? All right. Let's try one. Let's try one that's even greener, so you can get the full experience. Because this is the way people really eat them when they're super green. I finally got to taste Pim Sing Mun. From Pim Thailand. Pimp Sane. Pimp Sane. From Thailand? Yeah. Pimp Sane Mung. So that's like totally green. So when they're ripe and soft, you can eat them as well? Oh, yeah, they're really good when they're uh, uh, ripe. So most mangoes like this are not. Oh, yeah. Are not. Even uh, if they are good, you have to spit them out after you're finished chewing it up. This one you can just. Eat it, swallow the whole thing. Like an apple. It's like a Granny Smith apple. Yeah. Wow. I really like this because it's so versatile. And here's my guava. All right, let's keep walking. The first one of that was better. All right. It's your lucky day, man. What's that? Edward Kent, also known as Tebow. Tebow, okay, I haven't had a Tebow yet. This is a hybrid of Edward and Kent. And it's just an improved Kent. It's a more productive uh, Kent. Excuse right. me, a more productive Edward. Because everybody knows Kent's productive. Very nice. It's like eating an Edward. Yeah. Watch out for your head, man. Mangoes are falling. <laughs> this is a, a jumbo quesar. Oh, wow. Love queso. This was nice. My first Tebow. Yeah, I like Tebow. I liked this since the first day I met him. Here's I like the other one better. Which one? The Amateur Basham. All important. Uh, Hindi Besanara. Hindi Besanara. And also, the, the Thai Maw was top one today so far. Top one. Look at that ripe Pimp St. Mun. The green, yellow one, you mean? The yellow one, yeah. And this is Sweet Tart. And there's Cogshaw. That's a Cogswell. 20 year old Cogshaw. Mine have been garbage. Yeah, they're low sugar. <coughs> Mine have been so bad. I'm getting rid of the tree, I'm gonna top work it. Especially if it rains a lot. Yeah. Here's a lemon meringue. Man, mangoes are dropping. <laughs> mangoes are falling everywhere. I don't, so this isn't a dwarf tree, the Pimp Sung Bun? It is, but after 20 years, it's going to be a big What's tree if you one? don't cut it back. Cogshaw. Well, let's see if I taste one I like because I haven't tasted one I like so far. So from Laura Farms, his. It's not bad. It's all right, but compared to these other things. It's not a, a time more. Yeah. It's just a classic flavor mango. You know what it is, Paul? We're spoiled. We're, our palate has ha, ha, been exposed. Snobs, yeah. We've been exposed 
to the elite of mangoes. Yeah. So something with a classic flavor, it has to be really good. Now, something with classic flavor that's really good is like 015, Fruit Punch, Ott. Rich, 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 classic uh, mango, classic mango flavor. Raposa is another one. This one's Raposa. Oh, let me see if there's a lemon meringue. I was coming here to check it out. Let me see, lemon meringue, nothing today. Oh yeah, we got one. I have a ton. Oh really? I got two trees. Oh, I still loaded. get happy whenever I see a lemon meringue because <laughs> they're so good. There's one up there. I'll come back later and get it. Yeah, I must have picked 30 this morning. Look at my 20 year old pickering. Wow, 20 year old pickering tree. Look at that size. And it's definitely more dwarf than cogshaw. What's that? Another cogshaw? Where? Right here on the floor. Yeah, that's another cogshaw. Do you have fruit punch now? Oh uh, no, man! I picked them all. Picked them all for the website. This is all in poor Benishan. Another one? Yeah, I got two. So I like it so much. How many time more do you have? Just one. Let me see if I can get that fruit. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, baby. It's your lucky day. All right. All in poor Benishan. We had one over there, right? I had another tree over there. But we tried it over there. No, we didn't oh. try it. Oh Lord. So where's this one from? It's India. It's an Indian dessert mango. It's like a wani mango. Look at the color. Wow. It's almost white. Yeah. Here we go. But it's not a wani. Very nice. Very nice. Tastes like fruit punch? No. Tastes like coconut? More coconut than fruit punch. Well, this tastes like a fruit cocktail topped with coconut. Yeah. Very nice. I love that resin. It's reminiscent to um, ice cream. Yeah. Yep. My favorite ice cream. Mm. You got to get that skin. Very nice. This is my second favorite. It's very unique. Look at that color. Yeah. It's pale. Looks like Jahangar. Yeah. It's an ugly mango. Let me tell you. It's nothing... This, the cover of this book will not tell you how good this mango is. Not super sweet. I think it's rich. It's a rich flavor. And how often do you cut back this tree? I only cut it once. I cut all these guys. All right, I'll pour. We're gonna come back? You got to. Yeah. All right, let's see if we can, uh... oh, here's ST Maui. You had this the other day, right? I had one, yeah. What'd you think? Oh, amazing. Tastes like green guava, right? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's what I think. All right, let's see if we can uh, get into the um, high density, <laughs> high density collection. Remember, these are planted 20 feet by 13 feet. 20 feet by 13 feet. Yeah. This is um, Baptiste from Haiti. Maybe Haiti's best mango. Super dense like a golden nugget mango. Oh, here's some rosy golds. Rosy gold, that's, that tree's not supposed to be that big. <laughs> Remember, it's 20 years old. Yeah. All right, Remember rosy that. gold. Yeah. Very nice when you don't eat them early, they're really nice. Mm. It's like a glen. 
It's like a really good Glen. Oh, man. It's your lucky day, bro. What's that? Dupuis. Dupuis. I haven't had Dupuis. Oh, I love this mango. Dupuis. And no sun. It's nice and, nice and cloudy nice. today. That's nice. That's really nice. Yeah. Just a really pleasant flavor. Yeah. Walter Zeal had uh, some of these, but they all fell off this tree from the wind. Oh. Dupuis. That's nice. All right. You were right so far. Of everything I tasted, the Time More knocked my socks off, but I'm not wearing socks. <laughs> but uh, that was number one today. Here's another uh, Dupuis. Wow, man, no Gary's on the floor. You have to have one. No Gary's yet, man. Can't believe it. Look at all this Gary. This is the most scary I've ever had in one year. Wow. Okay. Let's proceed. This is Fernandine. It's a late mango. Fernandine. That's uh, Indian. It's yeah. Indian, we yeah. were just covered that in the video. And here's um, Bram, Bram Kai Mun. I've had that. That was excellent. Yeah. Yeah, I eat those green. Yeah. Those are sweet. Do you like uh, Pimp St. Mun better than this? It's been a while since I had this. Well, let's give it a try. Yeah. Real quick. Bram Kai Mun, you know what that means in English? What does it mean? It means trade wife for mango. Trade wife for mango. Not in green. The pimp sang them. Pimp sang one is sweeter. Yeah. But those a little riper are amazing. Yeah. Here's a cotton candy. There's Raposa. Where's Raposa from? Hawaii. Hawaii. I think that's Hawaii's best mango. And here we got Cushman. Also known as Big Yellow. Big Yellow. Lemon Zest. Lemon Zest, nice. And then here's Kiao Savoy. Ever heard of Kiao Savoy? Yep. It's another one for eating green, right? Yeah. Or eating ripe. This one's not all the way ripe. This is just, um, these are all from Thailand, right? Yeah. Let me try it first. It's all right. I think I like my mangoes ripe. Let's try Kia Savoy. That's not bad. It's not bad. All right, let's keep going. We're just here getting our mango fix. And all of these are for sale on laurafarmsmiami.com. Yeah, I'm making a mango mix box. Five pounds or 10 pounds. Now, do you tell people what's in the box? Because well, I saw they, it says something like, could be, I mean. Right, there's, there's a list of, of what are ready to pick now, and those are what to um, come can down. possibly be in the box. <clears throat> Here's my coffee. Huh? Coffee. Oh. <laughs> they got to turn red when they're ready, right? Yep. There's Ataufo. You want to try that? Sure. That That's that's the one from Mexico. That's the one they sell in the stores? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. Let me see over here. 
Yeah, here is one. So much different when you don't get it from the store. This is the one you'll find at Whole Foods, everyone. This is ripe off the tree. Yeah, very tart. It's an Angie. Angie's been my favorite <coughs> mango this year. Yeah? Taste-wise. It's like an improved curry. All right, some amazing mangoes at Laura Farms. And these trees are what? How old? 20. 20 years old. Wow, what's out with your heads? Wow. Can you point out which ones these are? Yeah, Golden Nugget, Banana Crunch, J31, Golden Nugget, Golden Nugget. Over there is some Cochin. Where's China. Your, where's your China? Let's see your China. Oh, you want to see a big China? Yeah. Oh, this is black gold right here. Oh, black gold. Wow. You ever try yellow hog plum? Yeah. Yep. You want to try yellow hog plum? It's super sweet. Black gold only has one on there. Yeah. All right, over here. <laughs> There it is. Look at wow, that. those are big. Look at those giants up there. Wow. It's like 100 pounds. This is why you don't let a tree grow big like this, because they, how are you going to get that down from there? Yeah. And wow. you know what? I don't think that's a china, the one, the one all the way up there. It's a well, sucker from, from underneath the graft. Well, that's what I was going to ask you, because my, my Boca Champa doc, last year it had small ones that were easy peel. Yeah. But this year there's big ones that are hard hard peel. I think they're suckers from the graft maybe. Probably sucker from the graft. Is it worth cutting it if it's not good to suck Yeah, of it? course. Yeah. But they're all big. All of those are big. Yeah, this one's pretty big. But that's it's always been average size. Wow. Amazing. What's this, this small one? I like this small one. It's golden nugget. Golden nugget. They wow. stay small and they're crunchy. All right, everybody, thank you for watching. I had a great time, and I know there wasn't much in that video about learning or, or education or anything like that, but it was just such an enjoyable time, and I'm glad I got to film it. My first time eating a Timor mango and some other mangoes, and I wanted you to see that. And if you want more videos like that, just let me know. If you like this video, please subscribe with others. Uh, have you ever had the Timor mango or any other mangoes that I tasted in that video. Let us know what you thought about it in the comments below. And please subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I have so many videos coming up. We're right in the middle of mango season 2023 as of this recording right now. And as you can see, my trees are loaded and uh, it's such a blessed time. I'm learning so much as I'm making these videos to help you. I'm educating myself and how to grow, what to grow, and when to grow. And I got so more great videos coming up as well. So uh, please keep watching. And thank you so much for your support and sharing these. Until then, everybody, have a great day. Thank you, Julian, at Laura Fons, Miami. Click on the link below. You can go there and check it out. He has boxes of all of these mangoes for sale on his website. Plus, he has my May that's in season. Jackfruit's right around the corner. And like I said, he has these dried fruit packs that he's selling at the best dried fruit mix you'll ever see. All right, everybody, until then, have a great day and keep growing.